Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I have created a tag and I'm really excited about it. I have been waiting and waiting to get back from my vacation. Like this was something I was actually really looking forward to. I was like, the second I get home, I'm filming this. We are calling this the nothing over 10 makeup tag. And yes, nothing on my face right now from my foundation to concealer, to liner, to lashes, to everything. Nothing individually is over $10, and this is the look that we are going to do today. I'm going to walk you through it. I love this makeup look. It is so easy and fresh. There's no wing liner, but there's a little pop of color. So I'm really excited to share with you this look using very affordable makeup. And also, I will leave a list in the description box of other YouTubers that I'm going to tag. But I also, I always like to keep things open to tagging you guys as well. You don't have to necessarily be like, tag, you're it. You can't do this video if you're not tagged because you know what? There have been lots of videos that I was never tagged in and I did them anyway. I tagged myself. So basically the floor is open. I would love to see your under $10 favorite beauty picks in action. And if you do make a video, make sure you let me know so I can watch it, retweet it, you know, go leave a comment for you. And uh, yeah, let's just jump to the tutorial. We're gonna go in with two primers because sometimes more is more. And when priming or using face masks, I like to kind of layer and target those problem areas because my skin is very combo. It is not the same everywhere. I have dryness here, oiliness there. It's just kind of has a mind of its own. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this Sheer Envy Primer from Hard Candy. This is $8, you can find this at Walmart. I am going to go more so on the cheeks up and out. This is going to help to firm and lift the skin, but also it's going to allow the foundation to wear longer. Then we're going to go in with this from Catrice. This is new. This is the Prime and Fine Pore Refining Anti-Shine Base. It's oil-free. It makes your makeup last so long. It fills in the pores. I have been loving this. My makeup stays freaking put when I wear this, and it's $7.99. You guys already know what's next, the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal Imperfect. This is just a little bit too light for me right now. So I am gonna mix in the HD Skin Sealer Foundation from JCAT, and I did a full OMG Tuesday on this. It's an $8 HD foundation. I will link that below. I'm actually growing to love it even more. It was kind of like, oh, this is nice. It's not as full coverage as I want, but we're gonna see what happens mixing these two together. And I have a knockoff beauty blender that is actually not that, uh, it's not as soft as the Beauty Blender itself. This is the only area that I get kind of frustrated where I'm like, I can't find a good dupe. I just can't. Everyone tells me, they're like, try the Real Techniques one. It just doesn't work the same for me. But we're gonna go in and give this a shot. I have the box somewhere. I'll list below what uh, the exact brand of this Beauty Blender dupe is. It's actually the softest one I've ever tried. It's blending that in quite nicely. Moving on to a little concealer, we are gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me. This is $7.99. It is one of my longtime loves. I'm using the shade Light. I also have the shade Sand. I wanted to kind of mix them a little bit because I have a little bit of a tan even though I legit wore like SPF 500 every single day on Maui. We were outdoors so much that it just, just happens, just happens. Pretend beauty blender again and just bouncing this concealer in. I am gonna bake under my eyes and I am going to take suntan from Cody. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Wow, that's a mess. I love this stuff, but the scent is. All right, I think that's the most powder I've ever used to bake, but we're just going with it. I like to take whatever is left over from pressing in all of that all of that way ton of powder under my eyes and just take the excess and kind of pat it into the skin. It gives you a really nice, more 
poreless, really beautiful finish when you do that instead of just loading up powder everywhere. We're just giving a smooth canvas for bronzer and blush and everything else to apply on top of because you got to think of how many layers you're going in with makeup. Make them as thin as possible except for under the eyes. So today what I'm going to do is take the Brow Precise Micro Crayon from Maybelline. This is in blonde. I'm going to just kind of outline my brows. I'm first going to use a spoolie and lift all the brow hairs up. Next I'm going to go in with a brow pomade. Now usually I would reach for my Anastasia in soft brown. I found a dupe. This is from ColourPop. This is in Dope Taupe. This is just their brow color, but as you can see, it is basically the same thing. This is the closest in formula that I have found to the Anastasia Brow Pomade, which kind of started that whole trend. I'm going to take a Sonia Kashuk brow brush and I'm going to lightly grab a little bit of color and I'm just going to fill in the sparser areas. Brows are done, now we're gonna get a little bit crazy. It's gonna get a little wild in here, bear with me. This is gonna look good, I promise you. Okay, so I'm taking a highlighter. This is from Essence, this is the Pure Nude Highlight, and this is a very creamy highlight. This is $4.49. I am actually going to kick off my bake with this, and I am going to use this very generously on not just the high points of my cheek, but just a little bit around the entire cheek area. You'll see what I'm doing. And it just gives such a nice creamy glow. Not completely the same as the ambient highlighters from Hourglass, but it gives a similar feel. It's not glittery or chunky, so you can get away with being a bit more generous. And then your skin just really looks luminous and beautiful. And I just have been enjoying using it that way. And I feel like it blends the bake really nicely into the rest of your makeup. Now let's talk about legit highlight because this is like ba-bam, you are going to see this highlight from a mile away, which depending on the day of the week, I can be into that. So this is from ColourPop, this is Flexitarian. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, which you should be following me on Snapchat, I'm really interesting and it's a good time. Basically, it's just me behind the scenes. I'm not that interesting, but you can still follow me anyway. So this, I snuck in my bag before leaving for Maui. I got a PR package and I was like, I have to take this with me. And I had already like sat on my suitcase and had everything jammed in there because I was only going with a carry-on. But you know what? I unzipped it a little bit. I made it happen. I'm glad I had it with me. I wore this every single day and I love it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit, which I've barely dabbed in here on my finger, and I'm going to pat the back of my hand so I don't have so much on my fingertip. And then I'm gonna find the high points of my cheek. And I'm just gonna begin patting. Then I'm gonna take my clean finger and continue patting and blending. Is that not so absolutely stunning? It's a little chunky. If you guys don't like glitter in your highlight at all, you will not like this. It's a strong highlight but I love the way this looks. I'm gonna take Rimmel's bronzer. This is the natural bronzer. It's a waterproof bronzer, which when you see the word waterproof, that's great for you if you live in a humid environment. It doesn't mean that you're putting on makeup and you're gonna go cannonball into a pool. It just means, hey, this is gonna be sweat proof. So if you're working out and you wanna wear makeup, maybe, I don't know, you can wear this. Or if you have like a dance performance, or if you're just in a humid environment, when you see that word waterproof, that's what it means. So a lot of people are like, I don't need waterproof. I'm not going swimming. It just, it's gonna be longer wearing. So who doesn't love that? I'm gonna swirl into my Rimmel bronzer. I'm gonna make sure that I pat off some of the excess because this is a fairly densely packed bronzer brush, but I've actually been really into that recently. So I'm just gonna start on the temple. And kind of contour with it. I'm not getting like a harsh line there. I'm just kind of accentuating the cheekbone and then going along the jawline. From Makeup Geek, which this pan is $10, highly recommend. 
I don't know why I stopped using these blushes for a while. I got distracted with everything else, but I am back on board. This is such a gorgeous blush. This would look good on anyone. It is just this universally flattering, peachy pink, beautiful blush. You'll see, it's amazing. I'm gonna take this with an, Orf an Orphe. I'm gonna take this with a Morphe E4 and just load up my brush and go on the apples of the cheeks and layer this up. These blushes have no talc. They're not gonna break you out or clog your pores. They blend beautifully. You can layer them up so they start a little bit sheer, which is good because you're not gonna have chunky blush all over your face, which that is the quickest way to ruin your whole look. For me, when I have a bad blush and it's like choppy and chunky and weird, it's like there's no turning back. You either wash your face and start over or you just wear the blush and deal with it. These do not streak, they're so good. I am gonna zoom you guys in when I do my eyes, but while we're here, let's just finish up with the lips. And I'm going to take a lip liner from ColourPop. This is the shade BFF, and I'm gonna slightly overline today. Not by much, but I'm just going to just walk the edge of that lip line. And then I'm gonna take another ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade Brink, and I'm going to kind of fill in on the outer edges and kind of contour the lip a little bit. I love this lip gloss. This is from Catrice. This is the Infinite Shine, and this is Rose Would You. Now, I feel like I had this shade before, but the formula is even better now. This is a new tube. And I wore this yesterday and I just, I loved how shiny it was. If you saw me on Snap, you know what I'm talking about. It was so shiny and I love that the applicator is flat. And it's like, I feel like I'm icing a cake when I put this lip product on. It's so smooth. Boom, let's move to eyes. We're gonna go in with Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. I really enjoy this. It definitely gives you something, just a nice surface to layer your shadows on top of, but it also cancels out veins. And I'm surprised by how much I like this. It's super affordable. I mean, everything in this tutorial is, but this is crazy affordable for what it is. Taking a Sonia Kashuk fluffy brush and creme brulee from Wet n Wild. This is again a favorite of mine that I've used so many times. It is such a good quality cream shadow that is really smooth and I'm just going to apply this all over the lid all the way up to the brow bone. Now I'm going to go into this e.l.f. palette. This is a $10 palette that is incredible. The quality is fantastic. I'm going to take the lighter matte shade. It's like a neutral soft brown. I'm going to kind of tilt my head back a little bit. This is a trick that I've been enjoying to really see where I want that color to be. If I look straight in the mirror, I have slightly hooded eyes and this area becomes completely hidden. So I like to tilt my chin up and really see exactly where I want that first transition shade to go and how high I want it to go. Also, don't be afraid to turn your head and angle things so that you can sweep that color outward toward the temple. Now I'm going to move on to a Makeup Geek shadow. This is Barcelona Beach. I'm taking a crease brush from Sonia Kashuk. This is a single, I think it's $5.99. It's not a part of the kit. And we're gonna repeat the process, but go a little bit further down. I'm not gonna go as high. But still tilting my head back, seeing where I want that shadow, and just going back and forth, switching it up every once in a while into circular motions to really blend. And I start with a little, and if it's not as deep as I want it to be, I go back for more. The thing that you don't want to do is like jam your brush in a ton of product and go in all at once. Just have some patience and build. And then I'm going to take brownie points, which is a little more gray in tone. I'm just going to take the same brush, just take like a dab, and again, repeat the process, but I'm not going to go in toward the inner corner, toward my nose as much. I'm gonna keep it mainly on this outer edge. 
And going back to the e.l.f. palette, we're going to play with some of these darker shades. So I'm going to take this deep brown right here, and I'm going to take a flat shadow brush from Sonia Kashuk, and I'm going to turn my head so that I can see where the edge of my lid is. And I'm just going to, on the very outer corner, deepen that area up. Then you can go back with your crease brush and just kind of blend everything together. I'm going to go even darker and take the darkest shade in this e.l.f. palette. And using the same brush, I'm going to go not as far on the outer edge, just so it doesn't, you know, smudge down here in this area, but I am going to right almost at the lash line, deepen things up through here. Going back to our initial first step, we're gonna go in to creme brulee one more time, same fluffy brush, and just make sure that the lid is still nice and bright. Taking a smaller brush, I'm just gonna dab in here and go underneath the high point of the brow bone. Now we're going to go in with this gorgeous purple gel liner. This is from ColourPop and this is Ho Ho. Wait, was this from a Christmas kit? I'm not sure. I'm. They have a ton of cream gel liners. Uh, I'm now reading this going, I hope they still have it. Maybe, maybe not. But any beautiful color cream gel liner that you enjoy, go for it. On top of all of this matte shadow, it's just going to give a little pop of color but I definitely want the liner to be thicker on the outer edge than on the inner corner. All right, now we're gonna go in with mascara. This is the Forbidden Volume. All right, guys, so the eyes are done. The last step that we have is to set the face. And I am really, really surprised that I actually like this. I kind of thought I wasn't going to. This is the Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray from Essence. The only thing I don't like about this is the sprayer itself is kind of like, oh man, I just sprayed that in my drink. I don't like the spray. I wish it was in a different, more misty kind of like, not it feels like hairspray, like the way hairspray pumps out of a bottle. So you do wanna make sure that you're a little bit far away so you don't get droplets all over your face. But as far as being an affordable setting spray at the drugstore that actually makes your makeup crease proof and wear longer, this one is one of the best that I've found in a long time. I got this fan on Maui in Lahaina. It was $5, totally within the budget for this makeup tutorial. I love having a fan on hand to kind of make sure that that setting spray dries and is in place. And yeah, we're all done. This is the finished look. I tag all of you to partake in the nothing over $10 makeup tag. And let me know if you do this by tweeting me, Instagramming me, snapping me, leaving me comments. Just let me know, because I definitely want to watch if you do. And I will also be tagging a bunch of my favorite YouTubers in the description box below. And I just had a lot of fun doing this and I love the way it turned out. So thank you for hanging out with me. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah. Uh. I'm out of practice. It's like I took a vacation or something. <laughs>